A striking 52% of companies admit they find it difficult to tell insignificant incidents from those that, if neglected, can lead to advanced persistent threats. Gathering, analyzing, and validating incidents manually is a time-consuming task that requires a high level of expertise from IT security teams. It turns out quite expensive for companies and the temptation to postpone or even avoid these tasks is great. However, ignoring incident management can be even more expensive in the end. An average cyber attack costs businesses from $456,000 to $1.2 million, which can double if the company fails to detect and stop the attack promptly. News of huge losses suffered by famous brands plus the fact that cyber threats have become a hazard to business continuity in view of digital transformations spanning across all verticals, make IT security an area of interest to top management. This puts IT teams under still more pressure to create and use the full-fledged incident management process. So what does the ideal process look like? It all starts with collecting data about user and app activity in your company's network. This raw information should be visualized for better visibility and monitoring so as to present meaningful context to the IT security specialist. Then comes the time to search for security incidents. There are two main ways to do that. If the company has a team of highly qualified experts, they can opt for threat hunting, which implies using indicators of compromise to search for clues of unknown threats within the IT infrastructure. This is a half-automated or fully manual task that requires IT security experts to make quick and competent decisions. However, even the best IT team cannot work non-stop 24-7, and automatic detection is indispensable. Advanced detection can combine multiple cutting-edge technologies. The more, the better. An automated sandbox service is like having a whole virus analyzing lab of your own, and machine learning helps find advanced and complex threats. Automated advanced detection is invaluable for companies that cannot afford a separate team of IT security experts. When incidents come in from any of the two mechanisms or from existing security solution, they should be validated, that is divided into harmless issues and potential threats. Finally, action should be taken on potential threats so as to prevent attacks or mitigate their effects as early as possible. As you see, the process is quite straightforward However, if done manually, it can overwhelm company IT teams to the extent that they often get stuck at steps one or two or three and lack the resources to proceed. This challenge could be simplified if the early steps get automated and IT specialists are freed up to tackle the later ones. That is exactly what Kaspersky Endpoint Detection and Response does. It automates the first two steps and helps speed up all the remaining ones. Our solution combines five elements monitoring, aggregation, detection, response, and prevention. Its advanced compatibility complements your existing endpoint protection solution, including third-party ones. If you already use Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Business, you do not need to install any extra software. The two solutions form a comprehensive, easy-to-use suite that is built upon 20 years of cyber expertise. Kaspersky Endpoint Detection and Response is an on-premises solution. Installing it removes the need to give third-party access to your network, keeping you compliant with any privacy regulations, however strict. Summing up, endpoint detection and response is a means to reduce costs without saving on protection. It lets you lower the risk of attacks, including advanced threats, automate IT security processes, eliminate the need for extra IT staff, make better use of existing staff and their capabilities. Endpoint detection and response eliminate risks of advanced threats and prevent business disruption.